All right, so Ken wants me to talk about if, if you worked at a job, right, and you get fired or you quit, it, it's harder to find a job after that. And I'll say it can be. I mean, especially when you're fired, like, I guess you have to basically lie on your resume. You know, and, and you just gotta, I guess you just tell the boss that is interviewing you that it just didn't work out, it wasn't the right fit. I mean, like sometimes when I was applying at jobs and stuff, like if I got fired at a place, I wouldn't even put that in my resume. I would just act like I never worked there. Because if you uh, worked at this place and you didn't last that long, you got fired, or, there's no point in putting that on your resume because employers are going to question that, you know, and you most likely won't get hired. So I say I wouldn't put that on your resume if, if you didn't last at the job long enough. You know, but if you last like a year or two, you may be able to get away with that. You know what I mean? So, I'll say the best thing though, like if you can get unemployment, that would probably be the best thing if you get if you get fired. Just collect unemployment and get paychecks every week. Like that's what I'm doing right now. Like, since I got fired at my one job, I've been working with my dad here and there and been collecting unemployment while I'm trying to get my CDL. And it's been working for me. So, maybe if you um, got fired from a job, if you know somebody that will pay you under the table and you can collect unemployment, you could definitely do that. So I think that would be a good option, but another thing is, if you're getting paid under the table, that could be sketchy too, because with my one experience, like a year or two ago, like I worked for this one guy, he was a landscaper, and he paid me cash, and this dude wouldn't pay me on time. This dude was late, and he gave me an issue. So that could be a con doing that shit. The only time you should work under the table is if you know the person, in my opinion. Like, my dad paid me under the table. So, obviously, I know my dad. So, it'll work out. It's all about who you know. Like, my one video. It's, if you know this person that is trustworthy and loyal and you have a good relationship with this person maybe work under the table and collect unemployment instead of looking for a job you know um but yeah like yeah you definitely can lie in your resume a little bit you can you can just you can just um uh, you can just tell them you quit, even though you got fired. And some of these, like, employers wouldn't even call the company that you worked for. They would just take you, you know? I guess it just depends on where you work. You know what I mean? That's what I think it is. That's what sucks about working. It just you deal with these shitty bosses and co-workers and they put you down and you like get fired or you quit because because you couldn't take these fucking idiots out there you know and you like have a hard time finding a job because of that you know It could just be hard to explain to the 
person that's interviewing you, like, why you quit and why you got fired, you know? So I say if you work long at this company, like one or two years, you got fired or quit, put that on your resume. But if you, like, didn't last long, don't even put that on there. You know what I mean? Um... Yeah, I mean, I guess that's my opinion on that. Like, I, I, like, changed my words up in my re resume on some things. Like, I would say I did this at this company, even though I did it at the other company that fired me or quit, you know. Sometimes you could just do that. Just do it on the company that you worked for that you last long for because people aren't going to review that like like a teacher reviewing the questions that you answered on a test you know I feel like that will happen if you worked at a high paying job you know what I mean so catch you guys with another one